Well, today we're going to do another one of our sweet peppers. This is one I thought was pretty, pretty unique. You might enjoy trying to grow for yourself. It's called an albino bullnose sweet pepper. These, uh, these get quite nice peppers on them. They, they turn white and very interesting looking uh, vegetable that makes a good colorful presentation in your food preparation. So we'll be back in a minute and let me get these transplanted and we'll get ready to put them out in the garden in the days ahead. Okay. All right, we got them transplanted into the six inch pots and we'll be uh, bringing them out to the hardening table and, and uh, getting them used to outside and learning how to eat through photosynthesis and uh, hardening up these stems. And then uh, days ahead, we'll plant them out into the earth garden. So we'll see you back in a few weeks. Okay, our albino bull nose sweet peppers are ready to go out to the hardening table and we'll get those hardened off and cleaned up and uh, ready for the for the earth garden well when we get ready to uh, go out to the earth garden and plant our sweet peppers um, I want you to take a look at a uh, video it's on our playlist and Nancy will put a, um, a link to it at the end of this video and the name of that video is how to grow sweet peppers and it shows you the process I go through of prepping the ground and installing the, the, the bamboo canes two foot canes how to put the, um, the wire cage around the pepper to support it from wind how to use fish as a fertilizer and how to cut that up and put it in the hole I get this from my local bait and tackle shop. You can get it at any bait and tackle shop or if you got a fresh fish market near you, go up there and ask them if you can have all their heads and guts. They usually just give that to you for free and you got free fertilizer. But that's what I use. And also some garden lime, which I, I get this at Lowe's. It's pretty cheap. It's less than 10 bucks for a 40 pound bag and 40 pounds will last you quite a while. So use that. So um, use these items and um, go take a look at that video to show you exactly how to, to install all this. Well, we've had our uh, sweet peppers installed in the garden for about a month and had a real rough spring, high winds, cool temperatures, overcast skies, and a lot of rain for four weeks. So our um, sweet peppers have struggled, but the last week we've had real pretty sun. It's starting to warm up, and I think they're starting to come to life. So we're gonna take a look at where they're at. The first month was a hard one for them, but they made it, and we'll see how they do in the days ahead. And I think once now that the weather's warming up they're uh, they're gonna really explode so let's uh, go out in the garden and take a look at how they're looking well today our albino bullnose plants have uh, produced some nice little fruits and it's time to pull some off so I want to show you what these these little fellers look like up up close and cozy so come on up and let's take a little look at it I think you can probably look at it right through the fence and I'll uh, I'll harvest some of these and we'll head over to the table and wash them up and let you take a look at them see some right here they look nice and pretty let me go ahead and harvest that one cute little fellers they don't get real big but boy are they tasty so let me go ahead and get some of these while Nancy's showing you what the rest of the bush looks like I'm just gonna get the teeth
Okay, we got these things cleaned up a little bit. If you'll come up and take a little closer look at these, you can see what I'm talking about. They, they don't get to be real big. Three or four inches is about the perfect size, like that one right there. He's a sweet boy right there. Here's some more. And once this was our first harvest, so right after we harvest the first time, they really get to producing after this. So they're prolific producers. These are going to go great in our um, spaghetti today. So there we go. The albino bullnose. And we appreciate you watching our channel. And if you like our videos, um, please subscribe to our channel and be a part of our YouTube family. And if you've never grown these albino bullnose before, give them a try. They're pretty easy to grow and they taste great in spaghetti. So until we see you next time, always remember, by his hands, we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.